What is up fellow Cybertronians? Welcome back to the Ian01 channel. My name is Ian and there are three things about Transformers that always gets me. Combiners, Beast Wars and Optimus Prime. And it's no surprise why Leo Prime is one of my favourites of all time because it combines both Beast Wars and Optimus Prime. Even though they are not the same character, he has all the features that makes him look kind of like Optimus Prime but a lion. But anyway, today it's not about them. Today. We are going to be reviewing the Nemesis Leo Prime. So let's get to it. This is Nemesis Leo Prime out of the packaging. Alright, and then before we take a look at the figure, I just want to say, what the hell is this? The Evil Fusion is just a claw coming out from his hand. That's just lazy, man. That's lazy. Anyway, this is Nemesis Leo Prime. And he is just a recolor of the Legacy Voyager class. Leo Prime that we have gotten in the previous wave but with Nemesis colors so it's the exact same mold it's just that we have a lot of black instead of a lot of white now these two figures are exactly the same from head to toe the only difference is that with the Nemesis Leo Prime you get this new pistol or dual pistol the gun that comes with Nemesis Prime. Now you can have it as a uh, longer rifle or you can separate them into two tiny pistols which he, he can hold in both hands. Alright, so what can we say about the robot mode for this guy? His robot mode. He looks exactly the same as Leo Prime. The only difference is the color and I think that is uh, the weak point of this figure. The color scheme is really dark. Even though you can see uh, there are uh, the differences between the grey and the black but uh, from afar they kind of look all blended together. Right? So it kind of uh, hides the detail of this figure a little bit due to the color scheme. I also find that similar with uh, Leo Prime, the weapons are all the same color as the main and it, it makes it very hard to differentiate where the, web, where the gun starts, where the weapon starts and where the main of the lion ends. If you were to look at the older figure, you can see that if we were to look at the older mode, you can see that the gun has its own color, the main has its own color, and the metal bits underneath also have their own color. So it creates a distinction between what is what on the figure. Where else the newer figures just look like a mess of robot parts. But anyway. If you are buying a Nemesis Prime figure, you will of course expect the black colour and the black and grey colours. So, robot mode is the same. I do like this mode. Uh, it's a lot more poseable as compared to the original mode. You've got articulation at all the appropriate places. His hands can move around a lot more despite being blocked by these two giant shoulder pads. 
we still have the giant uh, lion legs that are sticking out of his arms but I think that is a little bit uh, canon you will find that in the anime as well he still has that giant backpack not really giant but big uh, backpack but uh, you would always expect this kind of thing when it comes to Beast Wars because it is a bit hard to fold up uh, organic looking parts into the robot mode anyway, if I were to rank the robot mode I would give it a 8 or maybe 7.5 out of 10 just because of the colour but either that I think it's a really good looking robot mode okay, so the transformation again since it's the same mode, it's going to be exactly the same as the Leo Prime. Alright, so for his transformation, the first thing we're going to do is remove his weapons, remove the guns from the side of his mate. These guys on top, you can leave it on, just fold them in. Alright, so now he's ready to be transformed. First thing you want to do is lift up the two shoulder pads with the head. You want to extend the head a little bit, go around to the back, flip up his backpack, make some way for you to rotate the lion's head and the body from a horizontal position to a vertical position. Then we're going to leave this for now and focus on the chest and the head and all that. Break open his chest, flip down his head, this section with his head can be brought down, twist it around and close it back up. This fully conceals his head inside his body which is a nice touch. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on his arms. What you want to do is flip out the mane that is on his arms, the fur that is on his arms, flip the fist backwards and rotate the entire joint from backwards. Right, we're going to leave it at there for now. Do the same thing for the other side. Flip out the mane, fist backwards, rotate. Okay. The next step is we're going to lift arms all the way up to the top we can, what we want to do is close these two pieces up together and all the while align the arms to go under his uh, chin basically so there are pegs on both either sides over right here and over right here that will clip into this part so you gotta get all of them to align and that will be done for his upper body so I usually like to tab in these two panels first and then slowly work to adjust the arms so you can fold down the fur piece on his arms start fiddling around until they all get aligned together all right okay. so once they're aligned the next step will be to flip out his arms the line arms and tab it into the side here so there is a peg here and a peg inside the arm just align them together and they should fit really nicely sure that everything aligns. If not, they won't fit. Okay. So you want to make sure that the arm goes underneath the fur. Same for this side. Go underneath the fur and tab it in. Okay. So once it's all tabbed in, everything looks good. And we'll start working on the back. Slide this underneath. nicely before we pack this in flip out the lion's tail and push everything down and all we have left to do is to work on the legs so for the legs what you want to do is rotate them both all the way to the back and then 
and rotate the bottom part of the leg forward. Right. I'm going to unhinge the joint at the knee to give it that Z uh, figure. See for this side. And there you have it. Nemesis Leo Prime in his lion mode. So this is Nemesis Leo Prime in his lion mode or his beast mode. It's there exactly the same as uh, Leo Prime, the original Leo Prime. Only difference is he actually has eyeballs now. Right? He has a black mane grey body there are robot parts around but yeah you can't get rid of those but I think they did a really good job of just like the original mold of hiding as much as they can it looks like a solid piece of a uh, lion let's get his mouth open right. and yeah I'm pretty happy with it I won't say it's the best but this is what we come to expect from Beast Force figure in, from Hasbro. Um, the beast modes are usually not that great. Uh, this guy lacks posability in the upper body section. The legs at the back have a lot of uh, articulation, but the front it just have some twist of the legs. Right? You can't move out his arm. But anyway, that's what we we'll expect from a Voyager class figure. So, fine with it. I'll give it about like a 6 or 7 out of 10 There are two things that I have an issue with The first thing is of course the eyes uh, Yeah, they gave him eyes this time But they still look kind of weird When it comes to art or character design or whatever it is The first things uh, people look at When they judge whether something is nice or not Is always the face So you need to have a good looking face Something that people want to look to Because the face is what brings uh, attention to the figure and if you have a weird face like this immediately your perception of the figure is going to be a lot worse right the second thing is that the new gun that comes with the nemesis leo prime has no storage on the lion the only place i found where i can peg it in is at the back here so one goes there and the other goes on the other side of the leg and it is somewhat then from view unless you turn it behind and you can see it there but other than that yeah that's the only way I know how to hide those two guys anyway uh, that's it about this figure let me know what you guys think in the comment section below personally I'm always a sucker for Nemesis Prime uh, figures so I always get them so overall, I think this figure is a average, about slightly above average, maybe 7.5 out of 10 for me. Anyway, that's it for this review. i see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe and all that. See you guys next time. Bye, bye.